So this master is a contemporary, this is a master for contemporary Chinese studies. Uh, this thesis defense in Renmin University of China, Silk Road uh, School in Suzhou, within the topic contribution of Belt and Road Initiative projects uh, in Egypt towards achieving the United Nations Nine Sustainable Development Goal. My name is Muhammad Wara. My Chinese name is Mohan, and the research was made under the supervision of Professor Dr. Lin Chongqing, uh, Professor Lawrence. Special thanks to Renmin University and Communist Party for their scholarship. So the story begins from King Ramses the, the third, 3000 years before Christ, wearing his royal transparent uh, light silk dress, showing his royal signs and the Egyptian parents were restricted to wear silk except the royal family. This is that was 3000 years before Christ moving to the Egypt from China through Silk Road Initiative and Silk Road. It is it was moved to Egypt through Silk Road. Ancient history that was from ancient history coming to modernity. In 1955, uh, uh, Egyptian President Gamal Abdel Nasser met Chinese Premier Tzu uh, in Lai and Ch uh, Chairman Mao. And in 1956, Egypt was the first African and Arabic Muslim country recognizing the Chinese Communist Party, CCP, sending the first Egyptian ambassador to the communist uh, China. It is not just Silk Road, it's not just a road, but it is a cultural and historical heritage that connects all the world together in one hand and one economy and one world. Through their uh, maritimes, lands, railways, airways, routes, and infrastructure. First, we need to understand the difference between sustainability and sustainable development. So sustainability has ecological, economical, and social. And social now is turned to be equity, equity aspect. But sustainable development is the development that meet the need of the present uh, without compromising the ability of the future generations to meet their own needs. In another word, a better and more sustainable future for all of us. Why we are mentioning this? Because it is the core of our research. Our research is based in two main uh, factors. The United Nations uh, Sustainable Development Goals, the 17 Sustainable De Goals, in addition to the BRI priority lists. And to mention what's the priority lists, the priority five priority lists. It's policy coordination, facilities connectivity, unembed trade, financial integration, and people-to-people -people bond. When we mix both of them, we would find the new 2030 agenda that we put into practice for the BRI by encouraging win-win collaboration and shared prosperity, prosperity and development, openness and inclusivity, and mutual understanding and trust. Why that related to our research? Our research main idea is connecting the ninth sustainable development goal, which is building resilient infrastructure, promoting inclusive and sustainable industrialization, and fostering innovation. What is the opposite in the BRI priority list? In the BRI priority list, it is BRI 2, which is facilities connectivity, and BRI uh, priority list three, it's unembedded today, which means the successful community is built on robust and functional infrastructure. So what is our research for w, 5W plus H? To study the gap analysis between what has been achieved and what is estimated to be achieved from linking the ninth sustainable development goal action and its activity applied in the BRI priority list to develop innovative solution and encourage equitable and sustainable industrialization and construct robust infrastructure. So we are talking here about comparative study and analyzing previous studies and researches in literature review. Then the research is conducting the qualitative approach between the sustainable effect from social, economical, and ecological 
uh, aspects of the BRI priority list to achieve the nine sustainable development goal. Then approaching one practical case study, which we are mentioning here is TIDA Egypt, a project in Egypt as a, a representative sample of Chinese BRI, and it's our case study. So uh, the research question is, what is the contribution of the BRI projects in Egypt to achieve the nine sustainable development goal? Are the economical, ecological, and social aspects of the sustainable development achieved in Egypt BRI project or not? Can three components of the SDGs, infrastructure and industrialization and innovation be attained through Egyptian BRI or not? Why Egypt? Egypt plays a significant role in China BRI through strategic location, infrastructure, trade, and investment, and gateway between Africa, Asia, and Europe, energy cooperation, culture, and people-to-people -people exchange, and historical ties between China. Senior Egyptian bilateral relationship within the BRI framework reflect comprehensive partnership that spans economic, social, political, cultural, and strategic dimensions and making fostering closer cooperation between both countries. A case study here for TIDA, TIDA was meant to, uh, their future is to make $35 billion, 140,000 uh, jobs, recent jobs, 20 kilometers of uh, industrial, 500 new uh, factories. When we are making the SWOT analysis, so what analysis here, uh, advantage of infrastructure development, economic growth, energy cooperation, tourism, and cultural exchange. What's the disadvantage? The disadvantage is debit burden of uh, Egypt, environmental concerns, a dependency on China. We have a problem related to U.S.-Chinese conflict transferred to the region, social impacts, and BRI offering opportunities to Egypt development and connectivity, carefully planning for this and management are needed to address potential challenges and ensure that the benefits of, uh, are maximized. The project, BRI project to Egypt is a, 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 a formulating infrastructure development, industrialization and innovation, accessing technology innovation, job creation, trade expansion, capacity building, human resource capacity building, financial support, diversification of partnership and development of social and economic zone. For example, also, it's the green standardization of Chinese BRI nowadays and green infrastructure. I would take that part of from uh, his Mohammed, Excellency uh, Xi Jinping. Uh, no, just to... the last thing, just the last one. Minutes. One minute? Yes, yes, yeah, one minute, yes. Okay. So President Xi Jinping said first we need to up uphold open interplay and enhance connectivity. Second, we need to uphold common development and promote fairness and inclusiveness. Third, we need to uphold an innovational driven approach and create more de drivers for development. Fourth, we need to uphold ecological conservations as priority and pursuing green and low carbon development. Fifth, we need to uphold multilateralism and improvement of global government. Also, President Xi Jinping said that sustainable development is good development, but development together is a true development. And so Chinese future is connecting all pieces together in one content story, which is One Belt, One Road Initiative. Thank you. Wa ai jung wa rin min dao shi wa ai jung wa. Shishi.